Ladies and gentlemen, the next voice you hear will be that of Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and he will be stepping to the microphone in just one minute. Now it looks like we're all set. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You've read about him. You've heard all the rumors. But now, here he is live and in person. And at this time, allow me to present the chaplain of the Lighter Than Air Ministries, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Hi again, glad of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and I'm here at the Lighter Than Air Ministries in Katati, California. Thank you so much for joining us. Every week we get together for a moment of reflection and support. Thursday nights are something to look forward to in that I get to hear from so many people after the broadcast. So thank you for being in touch. Thank you for telling us all the wonderful things about our seven minute miracle. That's seven minutes of getting high, getting right as we say, followed by 53 minutes of the most beautiful music in the world, your own music. Since we started this program, oh, I guess it's almost 15 years ago, we have seen such an uptick on people who just love their music and hate the predicament they're in. And that predicament has been the measured end of their life. Can you imagine how you would react when this news comes to you? And it will. Most people who are listening to me today will at some time be involved in the hospice movement or in a hospital setting for the end. I can only tell you after all of our visits to so many people how they're fearful of the end of their life. How I can tell you after so many visits to people who are not prepared for the end, even after the physicians have told them to please get their house in order. We work with people to provide a relief. We work with people to provide a raison d'etre, a reason to keep on. And our reason is to make this wonderful production, this memory and music, a 10 hour presentation for themselves, for those awful hours when they may need it, and for their family to have this wonderful memorial in music prepared by you, for we work with you. You really don't have to work too hard if you're ill, but we come to your music collection and we work with you to put together this 10 hour final set, 10 hours of music and sounds. I can't tell you how many times we put the sounds of a family member far away. One last time saying good night. It works. It works because we keep you busy until the end, changing and perfecting this thing and keeping you occupied. It works because you have it there ready and you don't ever need it. But being prepared is an important part of the end. And we want you to have this beautiful piece to leave behind. I can't tell you how many memorial services we've been at or our 10 hour musical celebration is played and used and copied. You have, it's yours when you're done. You're, whoever, leaves, whoever our patient leaves it to has it forever as the custodian of that. So we're very happy that we can help. We're very happy that the people that we know who come to this ministry for help have received it. We are very happy that we can help. It's not easy. It's not an easy ministry, and I can tell you that. And we need your help. This ministry, all of the people that we serve in our program, go away, pass on. And most of them are people who, well, just don't have anybody left in their life. Some, after being diagnosed, just shut right down and went away. Really, you're trying to die at that moment. We want to provide for them. The people who have nobody, we need to help them. And we need your help to help them. We have no way of gaining revenue here at the ministry other than you. So if you can help, please go to our website and donate at our handy PayPal uh, 
donations window. If you want to send a check to the ministry, the address is on the screen now. We sure need it. Summer has rolled around and it uses up all our funds. Everyone's off vacationing and partying and no one's thinking of us. It's understandable. But our work continues on. People going all the time. So if you know somebody who's terminally ill, please have them contact us. We can help them. If you know somebody who needs help but won't put up with us, please let us know. We have ways of helping them as well. On that, I want to say good night. I want to say thank you for tuning into this ministry, this ministry of music and marijuana. The perfect pairing. As you go through life, I hope that when you need it, you find mercy. And when you go, I hope that you're able to go with grace. Good night and thank you from the Lighter Than Air Ministries. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the end of this week's moment in time with the Lighter Than Air Ministries and the spiritual side of cannabis. Join us next week. Till then, we say good night.